A tank isn't supposed to fire underwater. But in World War II, one actually DID. Here's the insane true story, June 1944. D-Day, the Allies needed tanks on the beaches, but the beaches were blocked, mined, and covered in machine gun fire. So they brought a secret weapon, the Sherman DD tank. DD meant duplex drive, but soldiers called it the floating tank. It looked normal until you saw the giant waterproof canvas screen wrapped around the hull. When raised, it turned the tank into a boat. Propellers pushed it forward. The turret stayed above water. But here's the wild part the tank could fight while still floating. During the landings, several DD Shermans rolled toward the beach in waves over two meters high. Water pouring over the sides. Engines choking. Most crews kept the turret down. But one tank commander refused to wait. He spotted German machine gun nests hammering the infantry on shore. So he yelled, Raise the gunfire. The tank was still half submerged. Water up to the turret ring. Waves smashing over the bow. But the gunner lined up a shot. Boom! A 75mm shell roared out from a tank that was basically underwater, and the German position disappeared. It was the first recorded moment a tank supported an attack before it even touched land, and here's the part most people don't know. That single floating tank cleared the way for nearly 1,000 soldiers who would have been pinned down on the beach.